Oh, hey, bro. Catch. <laughs> oh. What is going on guys? My name is James or Thanksia and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight and today we are going to be revisiting the fantastic plants versus zombies mod. So yeah, I've covered this on the channel once before. However, since then, there's been loads of awesome like additions and basically how the mod works has completely changed because there's been some really new unique ways in which you go about using this mod and how you craft all the various plants and bits and pieces. There's been new plants, there's been new items, there's been new zombies and all that jazz. So I thought it would be a really cool idea to kind of make an updated video of this to show you all of the latest features. So yeah, this was a really popular mod on my channel. Uh, I really, really liked it as well because I, I love mods that kind of incorporate other games, if that makes any sense. And Plants vs. Zombies is a very popular game um, and a lot of people really enjoy it. So what I think I'm going to do is, obviously we have these fellows here, which are kind of like cool looking, but we will get to these in a second. I'm going to show you all of these guys in action, um, but I thought it would be a good idea to show you the very basics of this mod once again, just because a lot of the ways uh, that this mod works have changed, as I did mention a little bit before. But anyway, right, so we should start from chest number one. I think that's a good idea. So, in order to get this mod started, the first thing you are going to want to craft straight away is chlorophyll. So this is a very, very easily obtainable item, and what you need to do is get yourself one of four items. So seeds work, uh, leaf blocks work, carrots work, and cactus work, but I recommend you use cactus because it's very, very plentiful in desert biomes, and it also gives you the best yield of um, chlorophyll, I think. And so it's it's simple. You, you couldn't really get it simpler in order to get the chlorophyll. You just get yourself a cactus and you stick it in your inventory or in a crafting bench. And then that'll give you five chlorophyll for every cactus block. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna free this cactus. I need you no longer. Ow! Creative mode. Hang on, I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so a few other crafts that you're going to want to need to know. Uh, these two here are basics in how to make yourself some pods. So I don't know why those aren't in there. Let me just put them in there a second. Uh, this one here is the pea pod. Now, the pea pod and the snow pod are used in order to craft some of the more powerful uh, plants basically um, but yeah you're gonna need the pea pods and the snow pods so uh, this is chlorophyll like so in an x shape and that that will give you the pea pod and exactly the same for the snow pod apart from you replace the middle one with the snowball and then that will give you the snow pod now as i did mention these are used in the crafting however you can also use these as projectiles which i think is pretty cool and they are kind of high damaging I, I guess um so let me get something i'll get some creepers that'll do and so yeah the, this one here is a pea pod so this is just a generic projectile that will fire um, and i've missed and i've missed again what what is this hacks what <laughs> what the hell are you serious do these not oh do these only work on zombies no surely not really maybe they do let me find a zombie where are you zombie Zombie! There we are, there we are. Okay, so let me try that again. Let me try that again. Oh, they do! Okay, so they only have speed to work on zombies. Um, but the blue one here, um, as well as damaging the zombie, it also slows it down. Uh, but the green one is, like, super powerful. So, like, this will kill a zombie in one hit. I can't believe I can't kill a creeper. Madness. Uh, but yeah, these are the actual balls that the plants fire themselves. So they're kind of multi-purpose. They're used in crafting, but you can also use them for yourself, should you wish to do so. Right, now two items that are super awesome and really important. The first one is the chlorophyll bowl. Now this is a placeable item and it's really cheap to make, so you're gonna wanna make loads of these. Uh, just chlorophyll like that, four chlorophyll, a bowl in the middle, and that'll give you the chlorophyll bowl, which is these things. Um, so yeah, yeah, you're gonna want a lot of, let me try that again. You're gonna want a lot of these because basically these are harvesters for sunlight and moonlight. And sunlight and moonlight are another one of the important items for this mod. So how they work is you kind of just keep them in the sun and then they will harvest sunlight for you. And then when you change to night, uh, it will harvest moonlight for you. So it couldn't be simpler really. And it's a great way to get yourself these two items. 
Now the next one is the greenhouse, and this is the central crafting hub for all of the plants found in this mod pack. So once again it's really cheap to make, it's just glass panes around the top, and you've got two cobblestone either side with a piece of dirt in the middle, and then you get this really snazzy looking greenhouse which looks a bit like this. I really like this, with this little sapling in the middle. Very cool indeed. Uh, now this one just very quickly contains some new items. We have a trowel and we have ourselves the transplant trowel. This one enables you to pick up your plants uh, with one hit but it will kill them. And then this one, the transplant trowel, will enable you to pick up your items but keep them alive so you can replant them should you wish to do so. This one contains some zombies, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Uh, this is the plants. And then finally, just before we look at these, uh, you need special grasses in order to make, make these things sprout, basically. You can't plant these on normal grass. You need to get yourself either endowed grass or darkened grass. Really, really straightforward. Uh, this is all dark grass. That's an endowed grass back there. Uh, but what you need to do is, this is what it looks like, uh, you, you just get yourself a sunlight and a moonlight. And this is all darkened grass, so if you just chuck a, a sunlight on it, it will change it to endowed grass and you'll get your moonlight back if you want to change it to a darkened grass you just chuck a, a, a moon at it and it'll change it back to darkened grass uh, or if you just chuck it on a normal piece of grass and actually hit it as you can see it will sort of you know it'll just change it so you can kind of plant if you've got terrible aim like me you can just plant them wherever you want really Okay, let me change it back to daytime. Right, so now we can actually get into the plants themselves because we have, what, four new additions as well as the ones which are, have previously been in there. However, all of these have been sort of upgraded in terms of like bugginess so these are all running really really nicely now uh, but yeah we have the sunflower and we have the moon shroom now these two are vessels in order to harvest sunlight and moonlight of course these are slightly redundant because we have these awesome chlorophyll bowls over here uh, but you can still craft them nonetheless should you wish to do so so the sunflower is like the cheapest one to make and basically what you do is you start to use the greenhouse. So in order to make yourself a sunflower plant you're going to want to get two sunflowers and a seed. So yeah this is what the greenhouse looks like. You've got two slots here. This one is for sunlight and moonlight. This one is for snowballs which you only need one of for one of these plants. And then this one is for the important item. So for example in this starting one we have seeds and we have two sunlight and then what will happen is when you place that there's no, like, I'd like to see a little sort of ray, ray sun animation there. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like cooking your plant for you. So it's not too slow. Uh, so you kind of just have to wait maybe sort of 10 seconds or something. But then eventually... Da, 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 yeah, <laughs> it will give you your sunflower plant. And this is kind of basically ready to plant, really. You just get yourself some of the proper grass. I can stick on down here. There we go. And then these guys are ready to harvest you sunlight. So that's kind of cool. And basically the same thing goes with the moon one, apart from this moon shroom only works at night time, of course, and then this one only works at daytime. So once these guys have been planted for a while, you can right click them. I think you punch them, actually. I don't want to do it because I'm in uh, survival mode. But what they'll do is they'll actually um, drop the sunlight and moonlight. So in order to make the moon shroom, uh, it's kind of simple. You just get yourself a sunflower and a moon, and then you stick your sunflower in the front bit, and you stick your moon in the top bit, and then that will cook you a moon shroom. So really, really straightforward. I think you're going to get this crafting pretty quickly. Uh, I'm not going to show you every single one of them in terms of making them in here, but I'll show you how you do make them. So this one is the standard pea shooter. Uh, how you do that is a pea pod from earlier and one sunlight. That will give you a pea shooter. The next one here is the uh, like the snow pea shooter, which is like the blue fellow. So this is the only one that actually uses a snowball in the bottom. So you just use a sunlight and a pea shooter plant, uh, and then that will give you the snow pea plant, which will slow down enemies, which is awesome. Now this one is the repeater. Hello, sir. There we go. He looks a bit angrier than the others. I think it's the eyebrows. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pea shooter and a sunlight, and then that will give you the repeater. Now this one is like the triple repeater which is probably one of my favorite ones. I do like that a lot. And then that one is the repeater plant with a sunlight, and then that will give you the 3P. So basically, these are all just slight upgrades of each other, and you use each other in terms of crafting them. So you're going to need one of these in order to craft one of these, one of these in order to craft one of these, one of these in order to craft one of these, one of these and so forth. All right, now we're going to take a look at the actual moon ones, because these are sort of the new additions, and these are the reasons why I wanted to do it. But yeah, you've seen the moon one. This one here, this little happy chappy. Look at you. Lovely. Uh, this is the puff shroom. So I'm going to show you these in action in a second. But in order to craft these, you're going to need a pea shooter plant and a moonlight. And that will give you the puff shroom. And this guy who's slightly taller uh, is the scaredy shroom. So you're going to need a puff shroom and a moonlight in order to craft this guy. And then finally, this guy, which is really angry, uh, is the flume 
Oh, no, sorry, <laughs> the fume shroom. Some of these are quite hard to say. Um, but yeah, this is a scaredy shroom and a moonlight, and you'll get yourself the fume shroom. <laughs> So yeah, this is the new set of plants, basically, and what these do is they effectively shoot at zombies and they will keep your house safe. So this kind of works on many levels. The reason why I like this mod, basically, in survival mode, you can use these to protect your house. They are really, really great at protecting NPC villages because they'll deal with the zombies as and when they come in. Uh, but on a more sort of advanced level, you can craft yourself or you can make yourself plants versus zombies survival courses using this mod and uh, yeah, you can do it all with redstone and stuff. I've seen a few people do it and it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, they work on so many levels if you're a survival or a creative player and you can kind of do whatever you want. So yeah, I'm going to take these two new Zombles. Uh, this is a armor kit that comes with it. It's like a football kit, which is actually uh, part of one of the zombies. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move a little bit away. I'm going to set up a few little thingies and we're going to see these guys in action. Okay, so I've moved somewhere a little bit further away and I've turned it into nighttime, so all of these guys will attack. Um, so basically how this works are the normal ones will attack in day and nighttime. However, the mushrooms will only attack during the night. So we're going to start right from the beginning and I'm just going to show you these very quickly. This one is the pea shooter plant. So I'm going to have to rejuvenate this soil because what happens is when you actually remove a plant, the soil itself will sort of turn bad and you have to re-sunshine or re-moonlight it. So yeah, this is the pea shooter. This guy's like a single cannon basically and he will sort of fire one thing at a time so it's not the most powerful one and it does have a slightly slower fire rate however it does dispatch zombies fairly straightforward and as you can see it sort of killed it in about three hits so we can actually use our transplant trial give it a go yoink and I killed it. Okay, I don't think I did that right. Um, so yeah, as you can see, once I've actually killed it, the grass will return back to that sort of weird colour and you have to renew it. So yeah, that's just the standard pea shooter. Now the next one is the snow pea plant and this one is basically the slight upgrade in terms of the projectiles that the projectiles that it will fire will also have an effect where it will slow down the zombie. So we'll see this guy in action here. Oh, he's missed. And as you can see, the slowing effect. So this guy is going to be great in order to sort of, you know, keep them at bay. Really, it's not as powerful as the other one. However, it does eventually kill the guy. Come on. Yes. No. <laughs> out of rage. Hang on, I'll help you. Teamwork. Teamwork. Go on. Go on, son. Go on. Hit him. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah, he dealt with him fairly straightforward. As you can see in the background, we have a few of the new zombies that spawn. I will show you them. Basically, we've got the flag zombie and we have the football zombie. They're basically just sort of souped up, uh, <laughs> souped up thingamajigs. You see, this guy's aim is terrible. Uh, but yeah, this guy as well, actually, the, the football zombie. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this guy because we're going to do a different one. But the football zombie is slightly more souped up because this guy will survive in the sunlight. So he's going to be slightly trickier to take down. Uh, but yeah, okay, so the next one we're going to take a look at is the repeater plant. So this guy fires at a slightly higher rate, I believe. And uh, we're going to stick this guy over here, try and kill this guy. So uh, yeah, as you can see, spotted him straight away. Now the one slight issue with this mod, and it's something that's uh, it's not too much of a big deal, but basically what happens is when they actually see the zombie, they will track onto that zombie and they won't fire at anything else until that one zombie is killed. So that can sometimes be a slight issue, but it's not too bad really. Once you get used to it, you kind of know how it works. Oh, and I should point out that when you actually kill one of your plants, it will drop the projectiles um, that are used to make it, which is kind of nifty. All right, the next one is the repeater. I'm going to fire one of these here. This guy's going to take this down, this guy. Now, this guy fires three at a time because he obviously has three heads. Uh, the aim is appalling, but yeah, eventually some of them will hit. This guy is good, obviously, when there's more than one target because he will fire sort of in and around that area. Um, so, you know, if, you, if the zombies get close enough, these guys will take them down. Okay. So the next one, or actually, oh, hang on, let me get rid of this guy. I think we're actually moving into the mushrooms. So the puff shroom doesn't do anything to my knowledge. Uh, let me actually change this into the thingy there. There we go. So the puff shroom, I don't actually believe does anything just yet. So yeah, it kind of just J chills. Doesn't really do very much, so we're going to dispatch him. The next one does though, and he's called the scaredy shroom. So this is like a single turret, sort of similar to the normal one. Let me put this down. Oh, hang on. Let me change the ground back. There we go. So this guy is kind of similar to the standard plant version of it. And oh, sorry, let me just change it back into nighttime so you don't miss this. But he fires the purple projectiles. Now, this is a different projectile um, than the ones you see normally. And you can actually use these. Come on. I'm trying to help you, bro. What are you wandering off here for? I'm trying to... Ah! 
<laughs> there we go. Right, let me try that again. So this guy wandered off too far. So these are really sort of perimeter patrolling things. They kind of really only work in with it within a certain perimeter. Um, but yeah, let me plant another one of these guys. So as you can see, when you kill them, they will give you the purple plants, and then you can actually use in order to fire these as well. Um, so they're slightly powerful. They're not as powerful as the green ones, I don't think. So um, yeah, it's probably best to stick to the green ones if you are going to want to fire any of them yourself. Uh, why don't you kill him? Go and kill him. Dispatch him. Steal his flag. Here we go. Happy days. And finally, the most powerful mushroom available currently is the fume shroom. And this is probably my favorite one uh, in the whole pack because what this does is... I'm going to put this guy down the middle. Oh, planted the wrong one. Fantastic. There we go. I'm going to put this guy down here. Put one down here. Now, this guy is, like, super powerful. And what he does is he actually fires, like... Uh, sort of random amount and they fire at a really really fast rate so that fired one and then four and then three and then six and it's kind of like basically anything between one and about six he will dispatch zombies super quickly uh sort of the more powerful ones with the armor on and just the standard ones so these guys are probably your best bet in terms of house protection these guys are going to do the most damage and they're going to kill the most amount of zombies uh, which is kind of cool yeah <laughs> so yeah that's kind of about it for this mod spotlight as you can see we have all of these amazing amazing plants and uh, mushrooms and stuff and they're really really fun so you can use these in survival mode you can use these in creative mode and it's just one of those mods that shouldn't be taken too seriously it's something different it's something a little bit unique and it's a lot of fun as well so yeah that's about it for this spotlight i do hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed plants vs zombies or if you really like this mod or if you enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like on this video that would be super super appreciated by myself also if you'd like to see more of my stuff make sure you subscribe to the channel i do loads of videos and all that jazz but until next time thank you once again for watching it has been a pleasure as always thanks and see ya <laughs>